that's a lot of parts. All right, so we have the Re Life power tower here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to assemble it, um, and then we're going to give you kind of a uh, review on what we think about this system here. It's going to take up a little bit of the footprint in the workout facility, so we'll let you know if we feel like it's worth adding to yours as well as everyone's gym size is a little bit different so you can kind of see the floor space that it takes up and make a decision if it's something that you want to add to your home gym or not. If you are interested in purchasing one for yourself, we'll leave the description below and if you use that link it does help us out without an extra cost to you, so thank you very much. Without further ado, we're going to get this box open and we're going to get it assembled and you can see how it's done. Okay. So one thing I like to do when I get something like this, don't throw the box away, but get everything out and laid out so you can see and just make sure that you do have all the parts required to put this together. I will say this actually came with two wrenches that are actually pretty nice. Um, they're 14 millimeter and 17 millimeter wrenches. So if you don't have your own, you can use the ones it came with. I went ahead though and I got my ratchet set out with a couple of wrenches. I'm kind of in a time constraint here when the wife's coming home and I want this done before she gets here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the first step and then we're going to video this and I can voice over and you guys can kind of see what goes into all this whole little project. So the first thing we do is we put the base plates down. And we want to double check to make sure that those suction cups are actually tightened down and that the unit will be level when we go to assemble. Now we can come back, insert the bolts in the back two holes. This is going to secure the crossbar to the two bases. Now with the crossbar tightened and in place, you can easily slip over these little foam covers to the push-up handles and move to the next step. This step is to attach the rising bars to the base. You want to make sure that those little cups are to the inside, otherwise you're going to have to redo this whole thing. So double check that and make sure that it is in the proper position. Once you've checked that, you can put in the four bolts and then position the arm into the base. Slide that in. This would be a lot easier if you had a second set of hands to help support the base there. I just kind of balanced it on the back of my baseball cap bill and it worked out all right. But all we do is work in each bolt. We don't fully tighten these down until we get them all into place. Now this can get a little tricky here being just by myself. If you had a second set, like I said, this would be a little bit easier, but we're gonna go ahead and put the next piece into place. So what I did was invert it, and as you can see, I was resting it on the workout bench. While I did this, I was able to get the four bolts into place, not fully tighten it, because we wanna make sure that this is actually gonna come out and be put into a straight line with the other one, essentially parallel to it. So we're just going to lightly tighten down the bolts, not all the way, like I said, until we get this unit into the upward position. Now that once we got the upward position into place, we can come back and we can tighten down those bolts now that we know that it will be in the proper position and parallel to its partner piece. Now with the two upper pieces into place, we can come back and put the supporting beam across. 
All I did was just put the two bolts into one side, put the crossbar into its position, held it there, and got one more bolt on the other side to hold it in. Then I was able to just add the washer and the nuts to each side and tighten this piece down. Now we can bring our attention to the armrests. And all we do is we loosen up those bolts and there's a little spring that will activate that you can pull the pin down and then slide in the hand held piece. Now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and put the forearm pads into place and we're just gonna slowly, slightly put them into place at first. Get one bolt in, don't tighten it all the way down until you get that second bolt into place. We wanna make sure we don't cross thread anything and ruin this piece because that could easily be damaged. So like I said, one bolt in, catch the threads, don't fully tighten, so you can raise up, line up the next hole. Now that they're both lined up, we can tighten them down and secure them. That done, we can bring our attention to the adjustable pull-up pieces here. Now we wanna remove that peg all the way in the back and then tighten it back down once we get it to the adjusted height. Depends on your ceiling and as well as the height of yourself, me being 6'3". I need a little bit taller, but I only can put it to where my ceiling allows. Now one thing to bring to your attention, you see that little wood peg in the back there? You want to remove that at this point. I did not, and I'm going to have to come back later on in the video, remove this piece again and remove that wood piece. Now that that's done, we can put our pull-up and chin-up bar up on top. We just laid it across there and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the bolts from the top down and insert it into its place and once we have it all the way through we can go ahead and attach the knobs and tighten this piece down. Now if you're a little bit shorter to make this easier on yourself you can attach this before raising it to the full height. And here, like I said, was where I ran into the issue as there's that little plastic piece that catches the wood. So I had to go ahead and remove this knob again so I could get that piece all the way out. This is where you can learn from my mistakes. Now we need to attach the pad where your back rests up against when you're doing leg lifts and things like that. And if you're like me and you have a washer that slips in, don't worry, you just need to find it, slide it into the hole and you'll be able to remove it. But we wanna line this up, get the bolts into place. Don't fully tighten them down until both are in there. Once both are in, now we can come back and tighten it. That way everything is in the proper position. With that being done, we can insert it down into the pegs and add the knobs to tighten it into its full position. This is an adjustable piece, so you can actually remove that back and forth, but right now it's in a good proper position for myself. Now this is the little stretch bar where you can put your leg up, easily puts into place, and we are good to go. So now just to demonstrate some of the things you can do with this, like we said, it has the stretch bar for your legs, but it also has the handlebars below so that we can get some nice push-ups. And if you're in better shape than me, you can probably go a little bit deeper, but it was a nice little setup for comfort. Now we can come over to the stand and I wanted to try to do leg raises on here just to see the stability of it. And you can see me being a little bit of a bigger person um, really put it through the test and there is some flexing but even with the tricep dips the the actual setup really felt sturdy and I felt safe like it wasn't going to tip over and lastly if you're in a little bit better shape than me you can do pull-ups and chin-ups but like I said nope. well there you have it it's all assembled ready to go it wasn't too difficult especially with um, our ratchet tools rather than the tools that were provided. But like I said, the quality of those were actually surprisingly pretty, pretty well built. Um, so you could get away with them. I would recommend though the ratchet set. 
Um, putting it together was pretty easy. Having a second set of hands though would definitely help with these two, um, putting them in. Um, I might have put the crossbar in there first. That might have helped stabilize it. But if you saw in the video, I put a workbench across here to rest that top bar while I laid it on its side. And that seemed to work out quite well. And was able to get this assembled before the wife came home by myself. So um, if it was something that you were interested in purchasing, like I said, but we do have the link below. It does help us out if you use it. And uh, if you're looking for more stuff like this, we do have a few gym videos out there. Um, we'll see uh, if we get some more out as well. If I get some motivation, you know, heading into fall and winter, um, might, might be time to get rid of the dad bot. So we'll see. So until next time, thanks for buzzing by. You take care. me.